Then going uh, and searching on the App Store, uh, I found another one, uh, and it's called Mavis App. Uh, and it's awesome. It's really awesome because um, it's done for uh, by filmmakers, for filmmakers. So it has all the features you need uh, on the viewfinder. As you see, okay, let's put it full auto. You have uh, focus picking, obviously uh, exposure settings, manual settings, manual focus, uh, and all the features that the, all the other app um, can have. But the great thing is that I tried it a lot and I had really no problem with frame dropping or uh, crashing. Filmic crashed a lot of times, Movie Pro uh, crashed a few times and had few time few time frame dropping, so I really I really wasn't that sure to to use them, but this is awesome. I did some 4K at 30 uh, frames per second at at 100 megabit per second uh, that rate, and it never stopped. It never dropped a frame. Really really happy uh, to find a, a so useful app. So uh, there are some, mm, some pros and some cons. Uh, the cons are that the viewfinder, I mean the, pre the screen preview is a bit, is a bit small. Uh, but with the focus peaking, you know, you don't have many problems. And with the iPhone 6s Plus, uh, the screen is so big that it's really not a problem. But let's take a look now uh, at all the features of this Mavis app. So here are some cool features uh, of the Mavis app. As we see, the viewfinder is uh, it's very well done. You have a lot, a lot of uh, information, features, and so on. Uh, I must say that the the preview is quite little, but you know, on a, a iPhone 6s Plus um, screen, uh, it can be handled. Uh, uh, let's begin. From the first thing, uh, you have here the, uh, the options and you have all the recording formats. As you can see, you can uh, go and select each format you want and uh, you, you have the frame rate. In 1080p, you can go up to uh, 120 frames per second. It depends on, you, on your uh, device, obviously. And you have the 4K um, capabilities at 30 frames uh, frames per second and you can reach here a hundred megabyte data rate that is awesome so let's let's uh, let's give it a try I'll leave these settings on okay you have here the false color you can set between uh, gradient or ranges of color uh, if you have some hardware connected you know anamorphic and so on I will just leave these settings and just see what what is important mm, to me okay and the file handling you can um, save directly to your photos so each clip you record it will directly save as you press stop in your uh, library that means that if you uh, if you shoot a clip about 20 uh, minutes it will angle it it will take a long time before you can use uh, the Mavis app uh, in order to um, begin shooting again because it has to save all that huge file into your library. Okay, and next we have here uh, the focus peak. Uh, there are those you know, green mm, strikes, strokes there that uh, it's very useful for focusing. As you see, I can change here the focus and it gives me where the green is uh, the right focus so I just leave it here on on the first one okay 
but you can either select here uh, the false color and see what is in uh, clipping light or low light I leave this out you can select bars okay now uh, exposure you can set everything to auto and uh, this is you know <laughs> everything is automatic but in the same time you can adjust here the exposure you know okay at the left this is the exposure and you can manually bring up and down your exposure settings uh, it is very useful because uh, down in the histogram you, I can see if I get all automatic that my mm, first this one I don't know how to call it <laughs> sorry I'm Italian uh, is a bit uh, clipping in the highlights so I can move it down okay here here I got that Muppet right uh, in exposure and this is this is awesome I think this is really awesome uh, here you can uh, select the target so you want to target this exposure or this parts in exposure and just uh, push the, the, the red uh, target where you want to be exposed correctly exposed uh, you have obviously everything to auto and you have the light that turns the uh, little flashlight of your iPhone on and off now <clears throat> white balance white balance is very interesting because you can set it obviously to auto but you can edit it so if you need you have three sets here you can adjust your white balance uh, as you want to and and save it so you have to press the set button and then the done button and you can toggle from the different sets right here or re-edit everything and uh, you can uh, uh, set the the, um, the the white balance uh, with the upper the right white balance button here and it's set okay it's it, it does it automatically so maybe if you have a white card this is not a, re a white card but okay you set the balance and it should be white balance correctly but I tried this outdoors and it didn't this is not really mm, not really perfect I will leave now it to automatic so okay now stabilization on and off I have a 6s plus uh, that means I have the uh, the um, optical stabilization of the iPhone and later on I will show you that uh, it works because uh, the stabilization works but as you see here it crops a bit so I, I think it's a software based um, stabilization but I wrote to, the, to Patrick that is uh, one of the su mm, support of the Mavis app and he told me that uh, usually uh, on those iPhone the stabilization is optical so maybe uh, there is a bug with the 6s plus or maybe it's my iphone but uh, i'm just uh, waiting for him to send me back some feedback because he he wanted to do some other tests on an iphone 6s plus and he will let me know manual focus is obviously <laughs> manual so you can just change your focus here on the right side and leave it as you want and use it during uh, recording okay and as you can set a target but obviously you know the autofocus of the iPhone is not really really cool and you can set it to automatic obviously okay I will leave it to manual because I like it right now if you had Mm, if you made some changes I don't know uh, you, you set the white balance you set the exposure to targets and, and so on uh, this is you can tap here and go back to full automatic directly 
okay now last thing is the microphone here it is I don't have here any out uh, an external microphone plugged in but um, you can see here that you have many options selecting the input type okay so if you have an external mic you can uh, select uh, the external mic or the internal mic of the mic of the iPhone and you can set the gain of the external microphone uh, here you, you can select which mic of the uh, iPhone you want to use and which kind of uh, pattern to use so you see this is omnidirectional subcardioid for the back microphone you have the front one uh, you have the cardioid on the front on the front one you have the button it's only omnidirectional so this is awesome uh, I really really love it really really love it okay I have now uh, you have uh, if you have your headphones plugged on you can hear from the headphones uh, your monitor so you can see what what is uh, what is uh, going through the microphone now <clears throat> what else to say I think this is a huge one really 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 awesome I mean well, while I'm recording I can change my exposure adjust it okay I want this exposure or I want to go to another exposure and change my focus to go other way other way uh, okay sorry for my really bad English but you know I'm Italian changing the focus and exposure is really really cool you have here the uh, the color balance uh, the color wheel that gives you uh, a help uh, while you're shooting <clears throat> and you have on your right side obviously the the record button as you can see you plus you, you I'm recording now and you can do anything you can do anything I did now uh, while recording so I stop and you have see saving to photos so it, it it's okay with um, short clips but it, it takes a while for longer clips um, I did uh, last last day uh, three clips of 15-20 uh, minutes and it takes uh, three minutes to save to library but it, you know it's accessible ac acceptable it, uh, there were 4k at 30 frames per second uh, you have the mic levels here uh, so you can see my voice now now it's clipping as you see okay we're done with the features now so we're back again and you know all the features of the Mavis app are awesome uh, I hope yeah okay <laughs> I thought I never <laughs> I never hit the rec button on the on my zoom h2n recorder with the lavalier mic here so I was thinking, oh fuck man, I have to do that again. No, it's okay. I have the uh, the audio from an, from this mic. So the conclusions. I think Mavis app uh, is really the winner for me. It's the winner. Uh, there is no doubt about, uh, doubt about it. Because Movie Pro is a uh, is a good app, but I don't really like its its viewfinder, and uh, sometimes it drops frames, and the Filmic Pro app has awesome features, awesome options, a, a, a perfect viewfinder uh, for filmmakers, for journalists. Uh, it's ready to go, and but it it's buggy. It crashes, and I don't. I really I don't know if it's on my iPhone, but you know it's a new one. I never. It's not jailbreaked. I think it's possible. Uh, it's updated so I, I I really don't understand why what say else on Mavis I think they will introduce some new features because they had they uh, they did a really good job for now um, and it's it's really for filmmakers wanted wanting to go weight light you know uh, I I did a setup with um, my GH4 cage I put the iPhone inside the cage with my um, video mic pro 
uh, on the top and a LED, and an LED light. And, you know, you can do anything. Uh, indoors, you have the, the LED light. Outdoors, uh, it's awesome. Uh, it's uh, optical stabilization, so you can go without shaking hands and or with, um, with a tripod, so you can go really uh, on the run. I think that Mavis will introduce um, a full screen uh, viewfinder preview of what you are filming because you know you you can choose to set everything exposure uh, and so on and then go full screen to to see what's happening while you're filming and just have the ability to change your focus and uh, and, and and the exposure uh, compensation that will be that would be awesome uh, another thing is stabilization i had some problems with my iphone and stabilization because you know uh, as you see it crops and i think it's software based um, civilization but uh, um, maybe sport brought me today and they told me that they were doing some tests on it and I really think and I really hope uh, it will um, I will I will get rid of that issue because I don't I really don't like cropping uh, uh, either it's 4k or 1080p uh, cropping image is always losing a bit of resolution that you can use for uh, for anything else. Okay, this is uh, a, a test for the stabilization mode. As you see, this is 4K 30 uh, frames per second and stabilization is on. I can toggle off and without anything on. It crops a bit, but this is awesome. Really, really awesome this stabilization. This is fully auto, obviously. And the other thing, now I plugged uh, a microphone, an external mic, to see how it works. And I can change the gain. This is gain, 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 and turning down, turning up, turning up, turning up, right in, in, in real time. This is, this is really cool, and I have the mic levels on my on the right side and I can see it, it, it it's not clipping and cool really really cool feature I hope this review helped you uh, and uh, please feel free to comment uh, down below uh, I will I will be glad to answer you if if I can and see you next time ciao